Hey guys, I'm Brian. Today we're gonna to talk about constant speed propellers. We're gonna talk about what it is, we're gonna dive into how they work, and what benefit it is to you to have a constant speed propeller on your airplane. So uh, let's get into it. So constant speed is certainly an interesting term. What does that mean? Does that mean the propeller's constantly turning no matter what, even when the plane's put away like my plane is here in the hangar? No, that's not what it means. All right, first let's get something out of the way. Constant speed is actually a bit of a misnomer. All airplane propellers are constant speed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the experts will tell you that this is not a constant speed prop, but if you look at it, the speed is absolutely unchanging. It's super stable, it's consistent, it's constant. This is a constant speed. Constant speed. This one's a constant speed. That one's a constant speed. This one, this is a choose your own adventure prop. He gets to decide before every flight which type of uh, propeller he wants to put uh, on his plane. RV pilots are a little bit different. Even though it's sometimes referred to as a constant speed prop, a lot of people will refer to it as a variable pitch prop. Let me show you why they say that. Sometimes you'll be in the run-up area and you'll hear an airplane uh, making this whoosh, whoosh sound. And what that is, is they're actually uh, changing the pitch of the prop. And so uh, they got to test it out, make sure that the oil gets to the prop governor and everything's working really well. And so that sound is actually the way the wind sounds when the prop angle changes. The reason it's called a variable pitch prop is because I can push this blue knob and I can change the pitch. But with the knob where it is right now, you can see the pitch is actually just in the key of V. But when I move the knob, you'll see the pitch changes. All right, now it's an A, so that's the variable pitch. We got different pitches that we can run the engine at. The faster you go, the higher the pitch. So using that, I'm able to change the pitch of the engine to make it higher or lower, depending on what key I want to fly in. For takeoff and landing, you always want the propeller to be at the lowest pitch possible, and then when you're in flight, you start dialing it down because it's easier on the ears. I'll show you. Northwest traffic, can you set, which is your public departing runway three, finally departing to the west. Northwest traffic. So now I'm flying in a very low key. Uh, it's great, it's easy on the ears. It's uh, noise abatement procedures. Uh, the lower key, uh, the less harmful the sounds are to your ears. Once I get up high, we'll uh, change the pitch to a higher key. Okay, so now I can roll this propeller and I can roll it into a much higher key now that we're higher off the ground. All right, there we are. Everything's perfect exactly as it should be. And so you can see the angle of the blades actually changes uh, when you pull the knob. That's what's making that sound you hear when you're in the run-up area and you hear the plane doing that. So uh, it can be really thin or we can kind of feather it to get a bigger bite of air. You can see it change in there uh, when the blue lever is pulled. The whole reason they refer to these propellers as fixed pitch is because if you look, no matter what, it holds, holds its pitch. It does not change at all. It's very, very, very consistent. So that is fixed pitch. All right, it's getting cold here. Let's wrap this up at the house. All right, so now you know everything you need to know about a constant speed prop and how it works, but you may be wondering, why do I want this? Well, obviously more knobs. Um, having this in your plane means you have another knob. Anytime a pilot has an opportunity to have more controls or things to make flying look more complicated than it is, they're gonna jump at it. I'm willing to bet if you gave any pilot the option of having a panel with hundreds of toggle switches on it that do absolutely nothing just so they could flip them randomly and say, check, 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 uh, they'd probably jump at it. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Realistically, the constant speed prop is mostly an efficiency thing. Uh, your fixed pitch props tend to be either designed for climb or designed for cruise. With the uh, adjustable prop, I can set it for cruise when I'm cruising, set it for climb when I'm climbing. Um, you can also take larger bites of air at the same RPM so that you're not overtaxing the engine. 
Um, you can read about it online. I'm kind of just making this up as I go. There's probably a way, way better answer on Google, so uh, check that out. Just in case any young impressionable people who are on that side of the bell curve uh, are watching or if the FAA is watching, uh, just a quick note, never start your airplane engine while it's in the hangar. Uh, also do not stand around or near a spinning propeller. Uh, propellers are very heavy and they have a lot of inertia and they can cause damage to flesh and bone. So don't, don't be around a spinning propeller and certainly don't ever touch any portion of the propeller or the, the hub while it's spinning. So um, if, if you fall into one of those categories, you work for the FAA, or you saw this and you were going to run out and touch your spinning propeller, this uh, clause is for you. Thanks to everybody for watching the video. Thank you, Goldsteel, for sponsoring. Thanks to all the Patreons. You guys fly smart, and I'll catch you in the next one. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.